left hand underneath. I'm going to step around and hit you with a right hand. Then I'm going to regroup. He's not hitting him inside right now. Smith does not respect not at all. At all. That because he's not doing what I said. It's a short him. uppercut on the inside from Smith. Oh. Smith, wide oh. sweeping right there hand from long range, and he tagged him. Oh, and Jesse Hart is hurt. There is the power of Joe Smith Jr. showing up here oh. in round two. Just got rocked in the last round against the upset-seeking Joe Smith. Why is this fight significant? And there's a quick stop and pop from Jesse Hart as all of a sudden he finds some momentum. 30 more power punches than Hart. Reminder, NFL Rewind will be coming up once we finish up with top rank. Hart's trying to get his respect. I see protective type shots like, get off me. And that's not going to work with a guy like Joe Smith. No, it's not. It's not going to stop him. It's not going to deter him. There Look he at is. Joe Smith right here. Middle of the ring. A series of punches. And goes straight back with a right hand. Look at a split that guard again. Punishing attack here against Jesse Hart. Second and fourth now, round, clearly in the favor of Joe Smith Jr. with the damage Ooh. he was able to do. And there is that short right uppercut on the inside yet again. He can't outbox Joe Smith, so he needs to stand there and fight. He's losing every single round right now. Another right hand came in and split the guard. Joe Smith Jr. In he's tired. He's frustrated. He's tired. And he can't keep him off. Oh, oh he goes down. A right hand scores the knockdown for Smith Jr. Closing seconds of round seven. seven eight, all right. what? Trouble like we just saw right there with Second Jesse Hart. Down. Boom, Second right down. there on the side of the chin. Trying to pull away. Much time to work with for Joe Smith Jr. Right to the body, upstairs, trying to headhunt for a moment, trying to chase him down, and the bell rings to close out the round. Up big on Andre Ward's scorecard is Joe Smith Jr. Sent back is Jesse Hart bouncing off the ropes. Right there hand comes in. There's the rally. There's a short right hand from Joe Smith Jr. There it is. Just making a brawl of it here in round number nine. Here's the, they here's want to the coach sequence. to a win. Yeah, sorry, Joe. Here's the sequence where we were trying to figure out if it was a punch, a headbutt. And it looks like it may not the shoulder right there, but right back up a little bit right there. It looks like the head. Hit the eye of Jesse Hart. I did not see a yep. clean punch land. That right there. Last round, last round. I think that was a missed last call round. by the ref. There we go. I think that was a headbutt and not a punch that caused that cut. Now this was a division that you were king of the world in, Dre. And you know there are different body types at 175 pounds. Instead of Smith still coming in with sweeping right hands. Still acting the part of everything he's supposed to be. Gonna take it right to the bell. Joe Smith Jr. comes down here to Atlantic City and will be celebrating deep into the night here at Hard Rock Live. See, the one thing that happened right there was Smith Jr. just sat right there at mid-range and didn't fire any punches. He didn't throw any jab or anything. And so what did Alvarez do? He lined stop, him stop, up stop. for the jab and the right hand over the top. Dre, the right hand of Smith is deadly, and the right hand of Alvarez is deadly. So when these guys throw their right hand, both these guys need to make sure that they keep their head off the line or get their head off to the line. And if, the way you do that is when you throw your right hand, so, you want to lean your head to the left. A lot of head hunting from Smith. Not a lot of body shots coming from him. Good work right stop, now stop, stop. from I Joe Smith Jr. Put all of his all of his weight behind that right hand. <laughs> it's 
Smith Jr. letting him fly here throughout his career. You can constantly hear Capo Bianco ask him to double up that jab. Everything, a point of emphasis, he's charging him with constantly from the corner is dealing with the jab. Mm. See Joe Smith just being Joe Smith, volume, pressing the issue, not really concerned about any punches coming back from Alvarez. He's going to live or die with that style. And we see Alvarez being who he is, very economical, looking for the one big shot, trying to snipe. Smith Jr. looking for that right uppercut. You can hear Capabianco saying, don't walk straight in, Joey. So he just stepped right to Alvarez that time. Alvarez will have moments where he wakes up. He better wake up and get going because he's 36, and if he loses this fight, he may not get another shot. See these offensive waves from Smith Jr. There was a right hand between punches from Alvarez while Smith was on the attack. Of Smith is causing Oh, problems. there's a left hand that Alvarez. sweeps in. Ooh. And now a right hand gets around the corner. Look at the he's thudding hurt. blows from Joe Smith Jr. as he's on the attack here in round five. Uppercut reigns in as he backs stop, stop. up Alvarez. Blood continues to pour. Stop, stop. Just mauling him here again at the end of the seventh. And now letting his hands go. Nice. So a nice way to respond after the right hand from Alvarez. I mean, he's coming out. Oh, if he continues to fight like this. Tess, if he continues to fight like this, he's going to get knocked out. Now the right hand he's from Smith Jr. going to get knocked off anyway. In addition to the total punches that we showed you and that advantage he had, when it comes to power punches, Smith Jr. has a 122 to 51 power punch connect advantage. There's a right lead, and then he sends him Tess. through the ropes Tess. to start Four. round Tess. nine. Five, six, seven, eight. Alvarez has nine. to make his That's way it. back it's through the right. ropes, and this fight is over. Joe Smith Jr. Statement. raise that hand. In addition to the total punches that we showed you and that advantage he had, when it comes to power punches, Smith Jr. has a 122 to 51 power punch connect advantage. There's a right lead, and then he sends him through the ropes to start round nine. Five, six, seven, eight. Alvarez has to make his way back through the ropes, and this fight is over. Joe Smith Jr. raise that hand. And then later, he's been taking punishment all night. That shot may not have knocked Alvarez out in the front. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.